Hello again, it's Priscilla Bettel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. This is a 10 by 20 inch canvas that I primed with a layer of Artist Loft paint and it's well and truly dry. And I am going to do something I've always wanted to do. I'm not sure, I may have done some variation on this, but basically I'm going to put lines across and then swipe through them. I'm looking for something a little more random than I've had recently. And I'm going to get it. <laughs> that was artist. That was, no, that was Mead and Black with Australian, excuse me. That was Mead and Black with Flow Troll and Gag 800 in it. These are prison pores. This is Wild Orchid. See that thing that does not belong. Now if I make a really nice painting and I can't bring myself to swipe it, you'll understand what happened. But I think we're going to be okay. This is Chantilly Lace, another prison pour. I'm going to get as many of my favorite colors down as I can. Get busy swiping. This is some true silver. Might be an easier way to actually edit what I use because I'll pay attention to how what I started with looks like. We can hope so anyway. Moving on to, I didn't use this, I haven't used this for quite a while. I believe that this is the Cerulean Blue, which I need to make sure is shaken. Now the reason it was so important to pre-prime the canvas is because if I leave any patches of white, it's already painted. And I could lay these across each other and it wouldn't make any difference. I'm liking how my colors look so far. I think I'm going to risk a little bit of blue velvet. Which I keep wanting to call blue suede for some reason which doesn't make any sense at all because Blue suede shoes were lighter in color. <laughs> so, I'm going to see what I've got left for my jasmine. And if I run out, I've got ginger flower. But this is a primary element. And I might as well just use it up. Which, is, which looks like what's going to happen. This is a great experiment. I think I'm going to switch around. Yeah. Now you can see how I was looking at it. Hold it too vertically, I'm going to wind up with a marble in my tip. But as long as I'm still getting paint out, I might as well go for it. I'm going to leave that on its side. I'm going to use some Orange Crush. And I'm going to limit the amount of it I use, I think. I'm really nervous about putting it next to the blue or the silver. Even the black is a little iffy. And I have some sour lemon that I, instead of using the orange crush to change the color, I changed the color with some vivid, intense paroli orange. I hope I'm saying that right. 
kind of kind of does look like jumpsuit orange. <laughs> There's one. That one was dangerous. All right. So I thought about this, and I'm still a little nervous about using the green, <laughs> to tell you the truth. But I'm going to try it. I don't usually use the green as much as this. But I can sort of treat it like I treated the orange and just go easy. I'm going to switch it back around again. See if we have any balance at all. It looks pretty balanced to me. I kind of want some light color. I've got a lighter blue that's made with Chantilly lace, lace and Chantilly lace and Prussian violet. Prussian violet is a prism is a primary element. Excuse me. Now it kind of be fun to spatula this, but I want to use the oddness of the shapes in conjunction with some straight swipes. At least that's the way it's going to start. Now I'm just basically filling in. I'm not trying to make a design that just happens naturally by accident to me in general. I'm going to get a few bottles out of my way if I can. I didn't put any gold in there. You know what? I want some gold. That is the Mayan gold. Just going to put it wherever there is nothing. There are very few places where there's nothing. But I like the pattern change. Now, I should stop. I should stop and say that's it. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that this time. Maybe another time. I'm not planning on spinning, so I'm not going to be too concerned with getting everything out of the way. But I'd like to get some of the things out of my elbow room. I'll fix the rest of those up in a minute. Okay, so I have a dish of Australian Floetrol. And I've been using it as a, as a dip dish. I think I'm going to put some more in there. Some fresh stuff. And I've got a whole selection of swipe cards down here. Only one of which is wide enough to begin with, and I think it's going to be this one. I could do this with a spatula. I could also do it with a, with a, um, with a large palette knife. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I think it might be cool if it does, though. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I think I want to change my, my turntable so that I can actually get in there. I'm going to wipe off, wipe off my card in between. And I'm always willing to share colors. In that case, I just wiped it off on the edge just to see what would happen. <laughs> if I continue to do that, I'll probably have the opportunity to have my edges covered. 
as long as there's some paint that isn't too diluted by Floetrol. All right, back to wiping it off. Now who knows what's going to happen, really. Do I want to keep using the same size card? That's a question worth contemplating. I don't want to take one of my sticks. I just had this wild idea to grab one of my sticks. My tongue depressors. Let's see what that would do. have a slightly watercolor effect. I kind of want a really big card. And I have a few. I'm going to use this one. It's got a fairly straight flaw-free end. It's only for people who enjoy the gaps, because you will get gaps. I'm going to take all of my spare paint, put it right over the edge. I think I'm going to drag this out. Actually, I'm going to use my card. It's evidently a novel idea and not necessarily an everyday Now I kind of want to go down to this end, but I think first I'm going to allow myself to use my paint colors on my card because otherwise it's a waste and I'm not much for wiping colors away. I'm going to grab a Prince, excuse me, I'm going to grab an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. Hey, there's the automated, automatic shutter release for my camera, just sitting right there. Now that's kind of cool. What do I want to do with this? Do I want to do something? I do want to do something. I just don't know what it is yet. I'm going to grab, I'm going to use this spatula. Grab more Floetrol. Wipe off in between sometimes, sometimes on the edge of my canvas. It's always the, the reason when, when things look different, that's sometimes more often than not, a reason for me to find it more interesting than lots of other things. So that's why I'm trying different things, like this right now. I could just leave the bottom. I could, no I can't. I don't think that the Australian flow troll works any better at this particular activity than the American does. This reminds me of something that I haven't aired yet, but it's coming right up. Depending on when you see this, if you see this at all.
it's kind of weird. <laughs> I'm not sure. I still love the colors. And of course, the less you overplay, the less you mess with the colors, the stronger they're going to stay. I still used all my time up. So do I want to bring a basting brush into this quickly while I still have time? I do have a toothy tool. That might be really cool right now. What do I have? All kinds of things. I don't see that as an improvement. <laughs> it's not hurting my feelings any, but it's not improving anything. That's not too bad. I kind of like that. I might want to do this and then tip. I did not expect to be toothy tooling. <laughs> it makes the gaps make less sense. Actually, you know what? I kind of like it. <laughs> Yay! I don't really need to tip either. Alright, I'm going to quickly give money try and shimmer that at you. It's different. It's got cells and lines and shimmer and uh, it's exotic. Let's call it exotic. That one line's got to go though. I don't like it. It's the one straight line in there. Might be the same thing with this one. Alright, so it's weird, but it is what it is. And uh, it's colorful. And I'm probably going to love it tomorrow. And I don't hate it now. I'm not sure it has enough of a focal point. And any of the paint that I've got left over in my scrape dish is going to go on my edge. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. Thank you for the donations through PayPal. The icon's on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner if you want to join the people who make donations. There aren't many of them left, but um, I do appreciate you guys who are there. Uh, I have a $9.99 a month membership, and there's at least eight, eight or nine people there, and that's really helpful to buy art supplies. So in, those people are enjoying a uh, members-only library of 80-plus videos. My email address is easpb and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I'd love to sell you an artwork. This is looking better by the moment. That Australian flow troll is probably going to pop some cells, and uh, I like that. I'm not sure about that spot. Sometime I'm just going to stick my fingers in something and have a go. Um, thank you for sharing my videos. Know that I have 29 lists of 100 videos. 28 of them are, are viewable. And everything is organized by topic and genre. If you'd like to ask me for something, you can have it. My paint pouring recipe is underneath Show More. My link tree is very close to the percentage off coupon for Color Art. I'm a Color Art affiliate. These are Color Art Prism Pours and Primary Elements. And uh, if you shop Color Art, you help me out and you help yourself out too. <laughs> my Amazon link has two books on it. My books are Volumes 1 and 2 Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities, the first and the second hundred videos for YouTube and all the processes and paints and tools, etc. I want to thank you for your kind words and your comments to keep my morale boosted. I'm I'm falling in like and I might wind up being in love. Who knows? <laughs> uh, lots of times I had a recent bloom or burst that was not uh, not my favorite thing until the next day and it was amazing the next day. My community board is a great place to find to find tomorrow's video. I post at 10 a.m. Eastern